My first year, we went to a regional in 2006 and lost to Pepperdine. Uh, 2007, we won the regional at Texas. We won the super regional at Wichita State. We went to Omaha, we won two games. Uh, lost to Oregon State, who won their second national championship. Uh, 2008, we lose in a super regional at LSU. 2009, we're the number one ranked team in the country. The second half of the year, uh, host a regional, lose to Virginia. Uh, 2011, Irvine wins a regional, goes to a super regional at Virginia, loses in the ninth inning. Uh, 2014, we go to the regional at Oregon State, the number one ranked team in the country. Uh, we win that regional. We go to the super regional at Oklahoma State, who had won the Big 12. The Big 12 sent three teams to Omaha that year. Uh, we beat Oklahoma State in two games. We went to Omaha. We beat Texas. We lost to Vanderbilt. We lost to Texas. Uh, the long and the short of that is that you know, from 2007 to, to now, this place has been to six regionals, four super regionals in the College World Series twice. <music> You see the kind of people who have came back. I mean, this program was disbanded and brought back, you know, and there's still people coming back from that 70s team, you know, and it kind of gives you that culture of, and you look around this place and you see why people want to come back, you know. This is definitely a place that's given a lot to a lot of people. I mean, every year that we have that alumni game at the end of January, we have 80, 90 guys come back. Uh, and that's, that's different to make the time in their schedule and their lives to come back every year. I think it's special. I think it's different, especially when we realize that the school is only 50 plus years old. Uh, and at 10 of those years, there was no baseball program. And so I think that's, that's a part of what makes it special is just those guys still caring and being involved and wanting the program to do well. My ninth grade last day, they picked us up right when our classes ended, Josh and I, my twin, and we drove all the way there. <laughs> we had, so I think it was like 24, 25 hours there. We packed up a rental van and <laughs> squished. I was right with all the luggage, squeezing. My older brother growing up, that was always his thing. Is I want to go to the College World Series. Right? And then getting to be able to go to that, be able to see the whole experience was unreal. So if you ask anyone in my family, they say, what's the best vacation, best trip you went to? Omaha, easily. That opening ceremonies in 2014, they walk us in and they show our highlight video on the board of the route we took to get there, and then it shows, you know, first Omaha appearance since 2007. Uh, I think the next team that walked in after us was Ole Miss. They show their highlight video, it was sweet. Uh, and then it shows first Omaha appearance since 1960-something. Uh, and then it kind of hit me, I said, man, winning's hard. You know, winning is really hard. We talked to the guys at the first team meeting and told them that when I played in Omaha in 2007, that I can't remember one at bat that I took, I can't remember one ground ball that got hit to me, but I can remember being in the dugout. I can remember the bus ride from the Super Regional to the College World Series. I can remember opening ceremonies. I can remember what it felt like when we lost. They were a team. Like, there was nothing that took that away from them. I think from the get-go here, coaches made that clear that we had to become close. We had to have this special bond. When you hear it from guys who have been through it and have been successful with it, like, that gives you that extra motivation to be like, this is, this is what it has to be. When we talk about them being in our shoes, they were here. They did things for this school. They really, really care about their job and they love their job. You know, having three guys on staff that played here, we are invested in the program and it's important for us that our players realize that guys before them played a big role in why this program is successful. I think their success, their understanding of how to win, how to get in those positions is, I think, rubbed off. Everyone wants to have their own story. So kind of bought into thinking like, why can't we? What do you do with them? Hey, what do you? Just say no, no, you just say this. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's fine. Like you want.
want to come out and practice. You want to come around being the guys like everything you like you do every day, day in, day out. Like you want to wake up for weights, like you want to do those things. I think everyone's trying to be the best form they can be, best player they can be, best teammate they can be. And it's not so much of individual based goals. It's more of like we all are rowing in the same direction, trying to accomplish the same goal. haven't done anything yet. We can get whatever recognition, we can be on whatever pole, but we personally haven't accomplished anything yet. There's still a lot left for us to prove, but I don't think anyone other than the people around here know what's going on with this team, what we're capable of doing, the kind of guys we have on this team. I don't think anyone's really grasped that yet. <laughs> 